Conan Exiles, I'm now recording. Oh, I keep forgetting it opens up the comment, uh, console commands. Oh, they're So, great. yes, <laughs> Soon and Pink have both went off to sleep. Me and uh, Mike are going to casually enjoy ourselves and get used to the game. I do have a small undertaking I wish to partake in, but it will be quite helpful for us. I will prepare for it momentarily, but I wish to show you something first. Uh, where are you? For the audience. Oh, yes, I also forgot to mention, uh, between oh, episodes... Cool. Yeah, between my- oh yeah, that- that's- that's one thing. I made myself the unique Pictish skin for the pike. It's no- that's it's fantastic. statistic- It's statistically no different from the standard iron pike that you can make, but it does have a cool <laughs> Celtic skin to it. It does look very cool, and- and the way you're holding it is very, like, Jiang Wei, uh, from, uh, Dynasty Warriors. I like it. Very, very cool. Well, I didn't make the Chinese armor, but okay. No, the way he's holding it, the stance, I, I'm assuming that's probably a very typical stance for a pike, but it looks like the, the, the character model, the way they're dressed, everything, it looks straight out of Dynasty Warriors. Kinda, yeah. Maybe, but actually... Like, like, it doesn't it? Does it not look like... If I'm thinking of the right guy, I can't remember if it was Jiang Wei or Zhao Yun. I can't remember which character's which. Mm. I mean, that that looks straight out of Dynasty Warriors, I swear. Your armor and everything, it looks totally like a, like a DW character. Very cool. I, I, I it like is... it. Very much like it. Uh, let me see. I'll hit the vanity camera. Yeah, this is, this is a pretty nice look here. It is. Yeah, I'm liking this. But yeah. the thing I actually want to show you, I forgot I made this pike. The thing <laughs> I want to show you is, you see this black a orb? Uh, yeah. n well, of a sort. So this is the unique reward for the Zath religion. I went ahead and got started on it. Um, I'm not quite sure how this will work without an enemy to demonstrate it on, but nonetheless... Let's see, uh... Boop! Oh, that's curious. Oh, hello! Off he I goes! You see. You're, you're, you're seeing things, weirdo. Oh my god! Yeah, I did he just it. now appear for you? Yes. So this oh is the reward god. for- Oh my god! This is one of the perks of the Zath religion. I saw earlier, it mentioned a giant spider. I didn't mean, uh, you know, I didn't think it actually literally meant, like, a giant, terrifying fucking, like, arachnophobes will never touch this game again, spider. Holy shit. He dies after a while. Does he, like, take enemies out? Uh, yes. Cool. He does not, you cannot harvest his corpse, sadly. That would be a I bit I was exploited. wondering, yeah, that would have been a little too cheap, I guess. So that I've wanted to like test that out for a minute now. I had read about that item... And it said, releases a small spider. And I was like, oh, it's going to release a small. tiny little spider that's... Yeah, it's going to release a tiny little spider that skitters over and does some light damage to an enemy. Okay, <laughs> sure. No, that's a big fucking spider. That was a hell beast. How so, did you even activate that? That was your religion power? I've been wondering how that works. So, bust out your crafting hammer. Let's see, do I even have a crafting hammer? I can't remember if I ever made one or not. <laughs> I don't think I did. Uh, well, it should be a simple one to craft. Oh, there it what? is. I actually... Oh, no, that's a... Is the repair hammer the same thing? Uh, no, you're looking for the construction hammer. Construction hammer. I could have sworn I made one earlier. Oh, I... Okay, well, I have the menu for it. Let's see. Uh, I can get you the twine if you give me just a second. Uh, it, it's been made. Oh, okay. Or wait, has it? Let's see. Uh... Doo -doo -doo -doo. Stone mall. Did it go into my inventory again? Two axes. Let's see. Uh... Oh yeah, here it is. Okay. So whatever button you have to open the building menu, right? Uh, Building menu. I don't think I have a button to open it specifically, but I can... like. Uh, look on the menu. bottom right. There should be a button labeled Construction Inventory. Uh, oh, it's not what I would have expected. Yeah, it's the left bumper. Okay. Alright. Let's see. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I'm in the menu now. I'm looking around. I'm not sure what I need to do. Crafting so there's... stations, decorations. Sorry, go ahead. I'm... Oh, religion. So, yeah, religion is a type of crafting station, and you start with whichever religion you chose. Oh, so we craft a, a, an altar then, basically. Yes, it's pretty expensive, but it's also fucking huge, so that's why it's expensive. Okay. Yeah, I need and... 130 wood. Go on. I can help you get that wood. We can get your religion going, and then when Soon and Pink come back, we can get their religions going as well. Huh, cool. While well, I'm down here, I better go ahead and grab a drink. In-game, not in real life. Now I have to clarify that. 
<laughs> I need to go wake myself up. Daddy needs a, a, a pickup. Oh, liquor is quite useful once we get to it in the game. <laughs> How much uh, wood did you say it'll need? Wait, all the all the altars cost the same thing. Give me a second, I'll oh, check. Okay, yeah, I need 100. Well, technically, I need 128 since I have two dinky pieces of wood on me. That should be enough. Okay, and let me get some stone. What the hell is wearing me down? Weighing me down? Oh, right, the human flesh. I I just saw that. I just checked that two minutes ago. I goldfish memory today for me. Yeah, it's transferred. It's every day for me. I am really liking this gear set. My character looks great. Yeah, they, I'm. I I think that all of these armor sets are really cool. I, honestly, every armor in the game, other than just the, the rags, I, I've enjoyed. Even just the standard medium armor, which I guess is just generic medium armor. I don't know what to call it. We've been wearing, but I've liked mm. that too. Yeah, generic medium armor. It is pretty good for it to be the like bland set you leave as soon as possible, right? Yeah. Okay, I have 400 wood, 170. I have 170 wood, a 460 stone on me. Okay. Where, so where you're going to have to make your... the altar since I don't know that religion. And we're going to want to pick a spot with some space. Yeah. Uh, oh, how? where did you build yours? Uh, I built it over by the big old tree. We can call this the holy tree. By the big old tree. Is, is it the one you're running towards now? Yes. So my altar, just to give you an idea of how big the average altar oh, is. Oh, I, I see it now, actually. My yeah. spider oh, god altar is this fucking big. Way bigger than I was expecting, actually. But that's a, uh -huh. that's a very cool altar. That's that's definitely a spider god altar. Yes, and let me go ahead and take that. There we go. Seven more spider globes. Yes, sir. I'll take those. I am currently over encumbered. Okay, let me yeah, dispense it's the spider globes. Let me dispense the wood and stone on. Yeah, actually, these spider globes. I'm carrying seven spider globes, and they weigh twelve pounds each. No, no. Thankfully, all together. Oh, yeah, I was gonna say that's that's a little little much. All right. So, do we need to clear out a space for your uh, altar? Uh, what do you mean by clear space? Oh, do we actually well, need to break down all the stuff around it? Well, it's gonna be a big fucker, so we might need to actually clear some, clear out some rocks and trees to make space oh, for Oh, see, it. I, I thought it would, like, just delete them when you went to place it. Okay, I didn't know. I, I'll be able to tell you uh, in a second here about how much space we'll need. You're gonna want to put it a little bit of a distance away from my altar, because the religions, like, you, you're not allowed to build the altars right next to each other, I guess, because the gods get pretty mad about that. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, I forgot twine. We need twine as well. Oh, uh, we, I don't remember seeing that before. That's weird. Uh, I can get you 14 twine. Give me just a second. And boom, there we go. 14 okay. twine for you. Thanks. Oh, <laughs> that's that's interesting. Because I'm moving around with my, my ghost of a, of a shrine, I'm actually bouncing the twine off of it. The bag. Oh, yeah, yeah. The ghost, the building ghosts actually do have physics. I did not know that until just now. It's <laughs> a minor bug that I that they've left in either because they've decided it's not worth fucking with or because people will enjoy it, but you can use it to like push around corpses too. Oh really? I think so, yeah. That's interesting. Okay, uh I can make the rest of the twine. Okay. Now, soon went for Emir. What god did Pink go for? I don't think he said. I th I don't know if he, he... I think he said that he just picked a random god or something like that. Well, hopefully he didn't double up with one of us, though at the end of the day, we don't really need to cheese it. One of the gods, like, I can literally just walk down the road and get. Ah, uh, okay. The other religions uh, kind of vary in difficulty of reaching them. My, my altar seems pretty small. It looks uh, as if I can put it... Go ahead, what were you going to say? I need what? Yeah, I, I was thinking, like, maybe right here, don't you think? Because this would be easy access if we're also coming over for the Altar of Zath. That's true. I, I It seems as if it's meant to rise above the ground, uh, but, I, but I can't make it do so. How, can, can you, is there a button you can uh, press to make it? So there is a button you can press. Oh, building is not, oh, I don't know if that's, uh, anyway. Oh, actually, wait, never mind. I just realized that I, I was in the wrong section. Okay, never mind. Yeah. Uh, wait. Oh, I need more twine. Hang on. Oh, I thought I made enough. I, I'm almost there. Eh. So, let me see. Did I ever make myself admin? I think I did. I did. Okay. So, I'm going to do something real quick. So, the game by default has a 
thing where uh, you can't build on spots that are, like, occupied. Like, we can't build over the cannibal villages. We can't build on certain, like, boss oh, landmarks, designated. stuff like that. But I can turn that off, so give me a second. Wait, why are you... Is that... Do we want to do that? Uh, I would say... Like, I don't think we really care, right? I... I No, I guess not. I, I, I suppose it doesn't really matter to me, no. I, I'm making the... I was wanting to do it because this space right here is apparently considered part of the cannibal camp. Oh, okay. Really? Where apparently, they... Those Unless motherfuckers. Down... Yeah, those motherfuckers. Not, not, not ours. Uh, there is one just down off that ledge. There is. Oh, okay. Oh, so and you what... know what? I just realized that actually I, I had the wrong item selected. This, this shrine is massive. Actually, it's like twice yours, your size. Oh boy, I bet it is. Uh, well, Zath's is. Zath's is one of the more humble ones. That's for certain. <laughs> Yeah, it, it is, from, from what I can tell here, the dimensions change as I move around, but I, from what I can tell, it definitely uh, it is larger around and taller than yours. So, one key you might want to learn to, one button you might want to learn to press. I don't know what it is on con on controller, but you might see, uh... Oh, son of a bitch, oh, where shit. is it? I, I, I do need more twine. Damn it, motherfuckers. Uh, I, I can get you that. three more twine. Hang on, give me just a second, and I will have it for you. Oh, uh, yeah, here we are by the bushes. One, two, three. And I will dispense it upon the floor. There you go. Okay. Thank you. Okay, let's try this again. Uh, yeah, they're not... Not letting me put it over there. They probably don't like that it's so close to another religious altar. They they really want it far away. I, can, I I'm I'm still looking for spots to put it. It's still giving me an axe. Okay, I can put it over here on this side of the tree. Oh, that's kind of awkward. Let's see. Uh, okay, yeah, I can put it over here. Yeah, we can kind move it afterwards. Sort of in front of the. Oh, we can. Yeah, that's true. That's right. All right, let me. Oh, I don't want it to be hovering above the ground though. That's weird. I guess it could. Well, uh, there's one key matter. you can press. Okay, you see on the uh, you see on the bottom left, the bottom leftmost, the bottom most button it says oh, toggle well, auto align. Terrain. Yes, you'll want to cool. turn that on for most buildings so that it doesn't float. Okay, this is my first structure, so yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Now it's now it's not letting me because you because you're in the spot apparently. Yeah, yeah. Let me let me get out of the way because it, it gets real picky if there's an NPC or another player it on the building being spot. Picky. Yeah. Okay, now it's gonna let me. I want it to be straight. I don't want it to be crooked. This is my shrine. This means a lot to me. For what it's worth, once you get it built, you'll dump all the shit from your inventory that you used to build it, so then you can move it without being encumbered. That also helps. Ah, so, man, the building is being very, very picky. So you might want to go ahead and build it, then pick it up and move it elsewhere. Then move it, yeah. It would probably help if I started clearing out the rocks around it as well. I think I got it, actually. Oh, let me get out of your way, then. Behold! Oh, wait, no. Uh, <laughs> behold! Behold! Oh, wait, what? hang on. <laughs> Stay with me, folks. Uh, uh, behold! Damn it! That one wasn't even my fault. That one wasn't my fault. That my character slightly moved and, and it changed the, the setting of it. Behold! What the? There we go. Holy shit! All right. Oh, you chose Jesus! I, I guess I did. This is, uh, since Conan, the whole thing with Conan is it's supposed to be, like, hundreds of thousands of years in the past. Mitra's whole thing is that he's the ancestor, pretty well, of Zoroaster. Which, of course, then Zoroaster goes on to inspire Judaism and Christianity and Islam. Oh. So Mitra's well, like intended, the one... But... Yeah, Mitra's like the one god out of the pool of religions you can choose that isn't really a douchebag. Oh, okay. Well, that worked out well. So if you go ahead and... Oh, I can't craft anything because I don't believe in Mitra, but you can uh, <laughs> click on him like any other crafting station and look I at... I am a true devotee of this god. So along yeah, the... We got... Oh, so, I, yeah. I can make an Ankh. That's cool. I have an Ankh tattoo. This works well. I picked the right religion by accident. 
So you're also going to see a bunch of, like, just stones with little things on them. Yeah. I, you're yeah. going to want to ignore those, because whenever you kill a priest of any religion, they have a slight chance to drop a little pamphlet that can be used to convert to their religion, to learn their religion. Oh. I see. Alternatively, you can take it to an altar of any other god and burn it as an offering for big rewards. Oh, cool. All right. That's neat. And on top of that, yeah, you should have the Ankh and also uh, Ambrosia. Oh, that's common to all the religions? I thought that was special to mine. Now, now nope, I that's to... special to yours. That's Mitra's oh, that thing. Is. How do so you every... know this? Just off the top of your head. Jeez. So every religion, every religion shares well, the character I was just playing has a Mitra shrine I use sometimes. But oh, okay. Every religion, all of them have one uh, tool they can build that is used on corpses to harvest a holy ingredient, a holy item. Interesting. And for pretty well everyone except Mitra, it's used to, like, extract a part of the body. For instance, like, I have this little... I have this little dagger of Zath, which I use to extract blood. Oh, cool. Okay. And I take the blood in to the altar of Zath, and I offer it up, and in exchange, I get the spider orbs. It's a one-to-one -one ratio. However, Mitra doesn't harvest, like... Mitra's whole gimmick is that the Ankh isn't harvesting anything from their corpse. You are sending their soul to heaven. Okay. Because Mitra's actually a good god. And it leaves a little spiritual residue, which you return to the Mitra shrine, and in exchange you get Ambrosia. Yeah, it says that it requires Lingering Essence. I guess that's what you're referring to? Yeah, yeah, I didn't remember the exact name, but Lingering Essence. It's a little bit that you then bring to Mitra, and Mitra's like, You escorted... My son to heaven. Good work, gotcha. son. And he gives you Ambrosia. Now, the spider orb is cool, because it's a, I can use it to summon spiders to help us in fights. But the Ambrosia is also really cool, because it gives you massively increased health regen for two minutes after eating it. Yeah, I, I saw in the menu, I chose it because it said that it, that it, that it offered, uh, you know, health benefits or whatever for healing. And I thought, well, you know, I'm going with a, with a you know, I, I tend to pick lighter scout-type characters, not heavy tank characters. And I thought healing would probably work well with my character. Yeah. And every one of the religions kind of has a focus on different stuff like that. Soon's religion is really weird. Emir is a really fucking weird one. So we'll hit Emir when we get to him. But Mitra's is plenty. Like, Zath, it, the early focus is I get lots of summons. Your early focus is healing, right? Okay. That's neat. But. Can I stock up on them then? Oh, go on. You can absolutely stock up on them. Every. Like. Realistically, we need to go... Let's go grab some iron from the furnace and some branches, and you can go ahead and make yourself an onk. It's only, what, 15 branches and something iron? Oh, I, so, you know what? I should have looked. It's probably not really that much. If I throw in 40, it's not going to make that big of a difference, because you can use the 40 for other things anyways. Well, it is... Oops, I did the wrong thing there. Ah, oh, these buttons. Ah, uh, it is... Five branches, some... 15 iron bars. So you'll want to go ahead and make yourself an onk. Okay. I have done so. And you'll want to put that on your heart hot bar, because now, whenever you kill a human, you're going to want to go ahead and use the onk on them and send their soul to heaven. Okay, cool. Whereas, I then come in with this knife and I take their blood. <laughs> Can we both do that? Can we each uh, execute our nope. religious... Nope. One oh, religious harvest per corpse. I mean, that's fair, but but it would be kind of cool if I took their living essence and then you took the blood. And then, I don't know, <laughs> someone else took the bones, and, you know, and on and on. Oh, God. Well, yeah, because then you... Well, that would be a problem because you could learn every religion, pick up all their tools, and then just fully harvest one corpse, oh, right? Oh, yeah, true. I, well, you deserve that. If you're devout enough that you learn every religion and, and become a, a devotee to everyone, you should get that kind of reward, I say. <laughs> oh, trust me, there's enough perks from it because, uh, like, Yogg, the cannibal god, right? Yeah. From him, you get a purified cut of human flesh. You take it to the altar, and it gets turned into a pristine, divine human flesh. Eating it not only refills your hunger by quite a bit, it also gives you, like, a big strength or tankiness buff for a good while. Oh, okay. Wow. And all of the religions have something like that, except, I think, to my knowledge, Emir's is really fucking weird. 
Like, Amir's is actually pretty good, weird. but it's weird. Oh, uh, okay. I'm trying to figure out how to assign a button to my hot... Oh, uh, well, is... is When you guys say hot bar, is that the same as what is... The wheel. Me? Like, a, uh, okay, yeah, all right, that's what I thought. The wheel, yeah. I, I, for us, it's a hot bar. For the, con for the controller players, it's a wheel. Oh, okay. I was wondering why you were calling it a hot bar. I couldn't find anything that matched it, I did, but I have a wheel, so yeah, okay. Yeah, sorry uh, about yeah, that. My wheel. No, it's fine. Oh, that is cool. That's yeah. Cool. Yep. And that you go ahead and you... exactly like my tattoo. Make it pointed at the end, like a knife, and you pretty much got the tattoo on my arm. That's that total accident. That's some. Uh, uh, I can't I... think of the word for it. I appreciate that they like designed it in such a way where it kind of looks like an ambiguous cross between an onk and a crucifix, right? It, 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 yes, it, yeah. Uh, the, the I think the reason why uh, it, it, the the onk that I have on my tattoo is from the Ultima series of games, and I think they were going for the same thing. They wanted a sort of not totally identifiable as a, as a distinct religion, kind of like a blur of just spiritual, you know, genericness. And uh, in the process, they made basically an Ankh that was also a dagger. And this is very, very close to that. It's, you know, the, the, the fact that the, 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 uh, the uh, oh, I can't think of the word for it. The, the T portion, the bar of the cross going, going lengthwise, it, it ends in kind of pointy ends instead of like solid flat ends. Like, like that sort of a stylistic design that matches my tattoo. Not a lot of Ankhs have that. Yeah. So, yeah, I think it's pretty cool. I can swing it and beat people with it. Uh, well, I, do, I think you can, but it does, like, no damage. <laughs> it you must... seem, it makes a satisfying sound. It, it certainly does. <laughs> so, what we could do is we could go ahead and uh, escort these cannibals to Heaven Express. <laughs> I'll, go, I'll go ahead and do, uh, I'll go ahead and do the killing, just because I know I have a little bit better of a connection to the server than you do. Sounds like someone said, ow. Literally, ow. Well, I did stab them. <laughs> That's gonna be an ow. Dead. Okay, and let's kill this hey. boy last. Alright, bust out your onk and send these boys to heaven. Oh, oh boy! Where'd you come from? Darfari Cook, one! A cook? She is dead. Well, you're going first, because that was that was a rude sneak attack. Send her to heaven. Do I, do I literally just beat them with it, then? Oh, no, Harvest uh, Corpse. Okay, you thwack them with the onk once, and it sends them to heaven. Really? Yeah, I, it's funny. I I, it's, so, in my game, what I like to do every time I thwack a, thwack a corpse with the onk is I like to say, Praise Jesus! <laughs> or, Go to heaven! Now, did that work? I didn't get yep, any special you... message or anything. Really? If you check your inventory, you'll find a lingering essence. Let's see. Uh... I should... There it is. Yeah, okay. I didn't get any special message, but nonetheless. And there should be three more for you to send to heaven. I bless you. I bless you. Jeez. There's, there's something great about a post-death bat, like a, a fucking post-mortem baptism. <laughs> oh, we... <laughs> Where'd ahead, the where corpse of the saying? fourth one go? Uh, yeah, I thought we killed four. We did kill four. A couple of them were kind of close together. I don't know if... Well, I don't know. That one got away, I guess. <laughs> no, I don't want to go to heaven. Yeah, that one. That one wants to langu uh, languish in the in in the depths of uh, Satanism. Okay, I tried uh, to I collect. I tried to collect the uh, blood of that last guy, and no, it just gave me human flesh because you'd already okay. collected. His, you'd already sent him to heaven. <laughs> At least we were able to confirm. This is a neat system. I like it. Yeah, and every one of those. So the religion system actually gets bigger the more you uh, practice the religion. Oh really? Mm-hmm. How, how so? Well, and when you say practice, you mean like 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 what I'm doing here, like like uh, by harvesting the souls and then uh, offering them? Yes. So we'll want to go back up to the holy tree. Oops, I'm encumbered again. Let me drop something. I'll just stick something in this chest here. What can I drop off? What can I drop off? Uh, 
I guess I can't put anything in the container. Okay, well, I just have to drop it. That's weird. Oh, I guess you can't put things in that container because that container is just going to get refilled by the game itself with loot. Oh, yeah. That, I guess that doesn't make sense. So the game's like, no, don't store anything here because we're going to annihilate it when we refill this thing yeah. with loot. That's fair. That's, I'd rather they do that than just let you get screwed over. Yeah. Which, if you get good enough at killing humans in this game, it becomes kind of viable to just start raiding villages for supplies. Yeah, I would imagine so. It seems like they give decent stuff. There were some weapons and shit. Alright, I'm gonna climb the side of this mountain. Climb to ascend to the gods. Olympus isn't as, isn't as impressive as they said. <laughs> I like that All got right. my nice, happy, pretty shrine here, and then you've got your evil one in the back over there. <laughs> yeah, where I'd put blood and get spider eggs. <laughs> okay, so I make some ambrosia then, is that right? Yes, and ambrosia, the thing is, it doesn't tell you. You get an extra reward out of the ambrosia when you craft it. Oh, really? Yes, you'll get to see it when, it, when you get your first ambrosia done. Thing. A little slow, but the, I guess that's, you know, it's a big, big, big thing that it's that it's making here. So you see that? Uh, the manifestation of zeal? Yes. That item stays with the altar. You cannot move it off the altar, and you can't put any more on there. Or, well, excuse me, you get one of those every time you perform a, good, a given religion's thing. Every time you okay. give a soul and get back a ambrosia, you also get a manifestation of zeal. Okay, and what does that do? So, you can go into the Knowledge tab, and you'll notice that there's an entire tree of knowledge that is devoted to religion. Let's see... I... Uh, secrets of Sorcery... Oh, here it is, yes. And you'll see Mitra, for instance, has three tiers of temple he can build, right? Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. Sanctuary, temple. And then the last one, I can make uh, uh, an Ankh and a staff of Ep Epem Epimetris. So, you build up the, the... Once you get that knowledge, and you build up the manifestations of zeal, you can turn this little shrine into a sanctuary, and then eventually turn oh. the sanctuary into a temple... And those give even bigger, nicer rewards, like unique sets of armor and weapons for your religion. Oh, cool. As well as, let's see, they usually also give a little... They're also, like, unique uh, decorations you can build. Like, once you get uh, up to the next level of Mitra, you can build a unique little, like, fountain, like you'd see in front of a mansion. That's an exclusive Mitra dec uh, decoration. And and so over time, should you want to do so, you can learn all the other religions and unlock all of the various, in, you know, customizable, distinct, special rewards and furniture and items and all that for all those religions too. Yes, it'll take a bit of work, but yes, you can do it. That's that's really cool. That's super in depth. I like it. Yeah, it's really neat. Religion it really, like, really is. When you have a whole team of players, like religion, almost becomes like a devoted thing for one player to just take up and focus himself on. I like that. That's cool. It's it's very lore accurate. Uh, you know, I mean, I, not lore accurate in terms of, well, I'm sure it is to Conan, but I mean, it's like, it, it is true to what one would expect out of a religion. You have to devote your time to it. You you continue to do things that are, that are you know, in worship of it. You know, you, you, you really do devote yourself to it. And as, as a result, then you, you know, you get your little special rewards over time. That That's really, really cool. Yeah. I like that. That's that. That's might be one of my. I, I, that might be my favorite mechanic so far in this game. It's very, very intriguing. Yes. So and how do we? It's it's obviously too early, but I'm wondering how how then do we unlock the the bigger temples and so forth? Well, let do me actually... see, because you can get the second tier of temple pretty early. Yeah, level twenty, which I'm you know I'm not too far off from level twenty. I'm level sixteen. Where are you? Oh, uh, how do I even see my level? Uh, the 12. Only... I'm level 12. So once we get there, it'll need a combination of the manifestations of zeal as well as 
uh, let's see. If you throw stones in a furnace and cook stone, they'll eventually cook into bricks. And if we put together a carpentry table, you can use it to turn wood into shaped wood. And if you want to upgrade from a little shrine to a sanctuary, you'll need a combination of a decent amount of bricks, shaped wood, and manifestations of zeal. Okay, where are you looking to see all that? Uh, I'm not looking anywhere to see all that. I'm calling from memory. Oh. Where would you f see all that? Like, like... Is Once it, you... Is on the knowledge menu? Once you get... Uh, sadly, you don't see the ingredients to make anything in the knowledge tree. You just, like... Well, I want to make a Temple of Mitra. And then you take so you it and you open... spend your knowledge points, yeah. Yeah, you spend your knowledge points, and then when you open up the crafting hammer, then you can see Shrine of Mitra. Or, well, what it'll be is when you go to the Shrine of Mitra, there'll be a building option of upgrade to Sanctuary of Mitra, and it will say, Cost, 100 bricks, 50 shaped wood, 30 manifestations of zeal. Hey, and where once it completes... see that? Like uh, it, it doesn't appear to you until you get the knowledge for it. Oh. And once that is done and ready, your Shrine of Mitra is going to expand outwards a little bit and become a lot more elaborate and turn into a sanctuary, and then so again for Temple. Which is a big part of why the game is so restrictive about, like, don't build next to religious buildings, because religious buildings are going to expand with time. That also makes sense, okay. All right, but now I I I I've, I've still I, I I in this particular case I it, it's a it's a just lots of complicated menus uh to to try and navigate that I'm trying to figure out here. So like right now, let's say that you're not here helping me and telling me all this. Let's say that I just built the shrine, and I'm curious. I'm looking at my knowledge menu here, and it's like okay, well I've got the accolade of Mitra, uh, which it's got the shrine of Mitra and everything else. Okay, fine, fair enough. Good deal, good deal. Um, now, the next thing is upgrade to Sanctuary, but now, like, again, with you not here to tell me, I see that I can upgrade to Sanctuary eventually, and it yes. requires the Shrine, so it's like, okay, well, I got the Shrine there, but now, how, how do I, what do I do? I need to, oh, wait, oh, oh, wait. Okay, so, alright, the Accolade of Mitra, it says cost 50, I, I need 50 knowledge points, is that correct? Uh, so, let me take a look at that myself. Whoops, that's the wrong menu. Because uh, I'm see. trying to figure out, like, like again, like, if I'm trying to learn this myself, what is it that I even look at to try and figure out what the next step is? I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Well, when you look at Acolyte of Mitra, and you already have that because you chose Mitra as your starting religion, you can then underneath see the next steps in the re in Mitra, right? But it looks, yeah, it, it looks, well, I mean, when you when you say that I go down next to the, to the uh, Priest of Mitra? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Priest of Mitra, yeah. That would be my next step, right? Priest of Mitra is the next step, then High Priest, and once you get past High Priest, you unlock Bless Blessings of Mitra, which is where you get a Blessed Ankh, which I don't remember what that does. I almost want to say it gives you more soul bits. And the Staff okay. of Epim Epimetraeus, which is a very quality pike, I think. I couldn't, I can't remember for certain. It looks that way. Oh, shit, I need a drink. Hang on. I'm yeah, yeah. You're choking to death. Let's see, do I have water? Yes, I do. Okay. Um, but now, uh, let me go back into that menu again, my knowledge menu. But now, when I when I do go uh, down to my first next uh, uh, upgrade, which is the Priest of Mitra, uh, I don't understand what I'm supposed to do. It just simply says requires, and it looks like the, the requirement is simply the Acolyte of Mitra. Okay, so that's not explained oh, also super clearly. Level 20. There, also level, level 20. 20. That's okay, that's what I was missing this whole time. That okay, there we go. That's all I needed to know. Yeah, that way a player can't just rush straight to like the really good tech for like upgrading weapons and just Which go is straight there. Perfectly fair, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That, I, I just wanted to know like cuz this is so intriguing to me. Like I don't want to rush it, but I but I at least want to know like like what should I be, you know, kind of focusing on, but apparently it's nothing. I just need to continue to grow. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, that's fine. That's cool. Yeah, this is a this is a nifty system. Yes, it is. I, I mean, I like pretty much everything about this game. It's it's just the interface and the controls are a little a little unelegant. Uh, yes. At least on the controller. I 100% agree. Yeah. And I do wish I could make the UI a little bit bigger, but for the most part, I can see. I do need to drop off some crap though. Now let's see. 
and I'm hearing what I think is one of my cats messing around with something. Hang on a second, I need to see what that is. I'll be right back. Yeah, yeah. Going ahead and taking a drink. I gotta figure out what am I carrying that's so heavy. I guess I don't have any points invested in expertise, so everything is heavy. Because, hang on, let's do this. Okay, we have, let's see, a carry weight. We have an, an encumbrance of a hundred. Let's see, between us, three, five. Okay, I, I'm back. I'm doing the math on what the hell is weighing me down so much. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out the same. I've got a lot of crap. I need to drop some off. I guess it's, like, just a combination of all the tools I'm carrying, really. Hmm. So, I'm probably gonna drop drop off some of my tools at somewhere, just because I... Oh, hell, a stone skinning knife. I can just make that myself by hand, using whatever I happen to have <laughs> nearby. So that's one thing that's easy to part ways with, but... just as, I guess it's just a combination of my armor and my weapons. Yeah, I happen to have, uh... A lot of, uh... What do I have? A lot of iron bars I need to get rid of, and yeah, the equipment, I guess. Hmm. All right, it's time for live field testing the spider. Do you want to watch this or let me rock? Uh, where are you? I'm down near the Campbell Village next to our house. Oh, okay. Oh, the one next to our house. Okay, yeah, you ran all the way over there. Let me, I still need to drop off some of this stuff here. Let me, uh, let me go do that. Your characters really are slow and you're encumbered. I mean, I guess that's the point, but... <laughs> yeah, what well, it, it's kind of there to be, like, a thing that kind of makes it so that the heaviest armor isn't necessarily the best. Yeah, I mean, I could, I, you know... I, I don't Though know, your I character is over-encumbered. Yeah, well, I guess that's what I should have said, is over-encumbered, that's true. I mean, I, my character's running right now. Uh, if you drop I'm... something, I can carry it for you. Yeah, I, I, I just didn't want to drop it in case it disappeared. I'm going to drop this uh, 25 iron iron bars here. Yeah, I'll take that. That did the trick. Boom, all right. All right. Yeah, there we go. I don't even know where to put that iron. I'm going to assume the blacksmith bench is a safe place to put it. Yeah, as long as it's got storage. Which, uh, what weapon are you working with? Oh, that's right. Uh, Just crappy-ass stone sword. Well, let me fix that for you, brother. Give me just a <laughs> moment. In which case, I'm just going to throw this sword off the off the side of the cliff. Uh, have you put points into strength or agility? Uh, I don't think I've put anything into agility. Let's see. Uh, yeah, no, I really should, but no, my agility is at zero, my strength is at five. I generally recommend either, like, I'm sure there are builds that work for both strength and agility, but strength and agility are the two attributes that I would say should be mutually ex exclusive. I, I, normally, I would feel the same way, yeah. Um, uh, I got to strength five so I could get the regen, the health regen. Let me look here and see what, what the rest uh, of the Vitality track. five. Vitality is very different. Oh, that's right. Oh, you know what? That's right. Remember, I, I, I mistakenly raised the strength. That was my mistake. That's right. I forgot all about that. I don't, I don't think I want to do strength with this character. Let me see. Uh, but I don't want to necessarily be a bowman either. Hmm. Uh, there is a strength ranged weapon. Once I get throwing axes research, those are a strength ranged weapon. No, no, I, I well, I, I guess I kind of don't necessarily want, well, I don't, I don't know. Normally, no, I, I like playing ranged in a game like Skyrim. I'm not sure yet if I would like it in a game like this. Yeah, this game's um, really comparable to Skyrim. Are, are the mechanics for, for, for fighting with a bow, are they, well, one of the things I really liked about the bow fighting in Skyrim was the zoom in, the special cinematic kills. I don't think oh, yeah, you ain't got the cinematic kills. That ain't yeah, good. that that was that was one of the most addicting things about fighting with the bow for me in that game. But the agility is more about kind of like assassin type of stuff, which, eh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if that's really my thing or not. Yeah, strength is more about, like, the more damage you take, the less damage you can take, right? Yeah, I, I'm looking at strength now. Yeah. Hmm. For I what mean, it's worth... He's going for the tank. Go ahead. For what it's worth, you don't really need to be that worried about investment because the moment we get an alchemy bench set up, which is not too terribly far off, you can uh, I can make a potion that uh, refunds all of your attribute points so you oh, can invest you can them again. Oh, you just rearrange it, whatever you want, willy-nilly? Yeah, and it's a really cheap potion. It's really just as cheap as... Do you see every now and then the yellow flowers? 
Oh, yeah, I've been seeing them all over the place. Yeah, I just need a glass bottle, that, and, like, either plant fiber or aloe, both of which are, of course, piss easy to get as well. Oh, okay, so it really doesn't matter that substantially right now. I can I can just follow a, a, a career and not have to worry about it. I can re rearrange things later. Yeah, I just need to know, are you going for strength? Yeah, for now, then I'll just stick with strength since I'm already up up five, whereas it's right. at zero. All right, you sit your ass right there, sir. Let me uh, let me walk into my parlor. <laughs> now I could get you a shield to match this, but I'd have to do the research for it, which probably would not be that difficult. All right, brother, get in there and get yourself a replacement for that rinky dink stone sword. Looking forward to it. Ooh, it even glows. Well, it ain't gonna glow when you actually bust it out. The glow nah, just I know. It's just, it, it's just got a pretty background. Yeah, uh, now let's see you what, keep this thing out, because I want to see what it looks like when you're packing it. Alright. Oh, can I not equip it? I guess I have to unequip the other one. Or do I? Hmm, well, I don't have the option to equip it, and pressing the button isn't working, so let me get rid of the other one here. Uh, where is it? Uh, okay, let's drop this damn thing. Wait, no. Don't sheathe it. Put it away. Uh, actually, yes, sheathe it. Uh, this is really annoying. The game doesn't let you take stuff off your wheel or hotbar unless it's sheathed. I just now figured that out. Yeah, okay. How do I that is how do I really annoying that? and dumb. I don't like it, but you get used to it. Okay, so I can sheathe it, but I don't see it in my inventory now. How do I get rid of that? My, that it should still be on your wheel. It should still be on your wheel if you've sheathed it. It is. Oh, re return item? Is that right? Let's see. Oh, that's what does it. Okay, yeah, I get, yeah. See, this is what I mean. It's a little clunky, a little bit clunky. And it's fairly clunky on PC, but it seems not on keyboard, but it seems even clunkier on con on controller. Hmm. It really don't does. envy the amount of buttons you got to press, though. Yeah, that's just it. It's like I'm kind of swapping around between three, four buttons for various activities. I am not. Why would I not be able to equip this? None of the buttons are doing anything here. Oh, I need to put it on the wheel first, then, don't I? Yeah, okay, let's see. That's right, that's right. Now I bring that. There we go. All right. Ooh. Hey, this fits my character, too. Yeah. That looks right. I look like like an Arabian assassin or something. You look like Indiana Jones is going to fight you. I do look like one of the thuggies, I think is what they were called, in Temple of Doom. I can't, th I can't remember the first, first movie. I think they were just random Arab unfortunates. Yeah. I can... <laughs> I can get you a matching shield if you want. You know, I gotta admit, that would look pretty cool with this outfit instead of that dorky wooden one I got on my back. That's the one thing that doesn't go with this outfit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me a second. Okay, I have researched no shields. All right, Turanian shield. Crafted at the armorer's bench. Let me take a look at that baby. Let us see. Ooh, that's a nice shield. I'll have to give, the, <laughs> give that to us soon when he comes back. I need branches. Let me go branches. hit some trees. I think I... Okay, yeah, there's a bunch of... There should be... Oh, I have 91 of them on me. All right, probably go ahead and drop them on the armorer's bench, because I'll probably yeah, need to I make really more shields should. in the future. Yeah. No reason not All right. to. This son of a bitch is going to be done momentarily. And... Bam, there you go. There's a shield. Your character looks awesome with the sword on his back, specifically like... He... Sorry, go on, I'm sorry. Your character looks awesome, like, from the front when he's got the sword on his back, because, like, the, the hilt just comes up above your shoulder, like, it looks badass. It, it really does. E even the colors match. Like, like the brown on the on, on the T-bar, it looks pretty much matches my, my leather armor there. Yeah. Alright, very cool. Let's check it out with the shield, then. Oh, that Ooh. is cool. It looks cool even without the sword. It's got a spike on the front. It does. I wish I could smack him with it. Maybe I can if I can figure out you, the controls. Who knows? Uh, try double tapping the button you use to block. Unfortunately, hmm, I, that's all I get is a fun wiggle. I could swear there was a way you could uh, you could uh, shield bash. Like I've seen it in oh, like. No, that wasn't it. Sorry. That was I didn't that mean was the run. regular punch. Uh, yeah. Hang on, let me see if I can make a crappy wooden shield somewhere around here. You know what, maybe if I've got the sword drawn as well, let me see. Oh, the, uh, yeah, having a shield does change the, your attack loop with your one-handed weapon. 
like try doing heavy a full heavy attack combo with the shield out. Let's see, let me make a wooden shield. Uh, it needs twine. I have an iron pike now, you alligator son of a bitch. Don't even try. <laughs> oh, wow. Iron is such a tremendous upgrade for weapons. Yeah, I can already tell this thing's going to do a lot better than the clunky-ass stone sword I was using. Like, I'll, I'll be honest. I didn't want to do it. I wanted to have you guys go at your natural pace, but every time soon went, we need to get iron. I was like thinking, like, motherfucker, you yeah, have you know, no idea the temptation. It's like... <laughs> The jump from iron to st from stone to iron is so massive in terms of making the game just so much more enjoyable and easy. You know. I, I mean, yeah, I, 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 I'm kind of of two minds on that because I, I, I stand by what I said earlier, which is that you know it's. Like, yeah, well, I stand you know, by I, it too. Yeah, like, I mean, I, I, it, it I, wasn't I that I agreed it. with soon. It was that I was like, it was temptation, right? Like I'm Jones right. for better gear. Exactly. Yeah, he 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 does. Uh, like you even told me this a long time ago, back before I was playing another game with him. This one, you said that you know he kind of he gets in, he goes in hard, and he wants to rush, and he wants to you know stomp, and it's like you know I I, I don't want to tell him to play my way. I don't want to say hey you know slow down. I want you to deliberately you know play slower than you would you know be comfortable with. But at the same time, it's like well I also don't want to just it's not even just a, a fun thing for me. It's like literally just like information overload. He's, I literally was trying to figure out how to build and place my bed and, and, and get all the different pieces to make it while he was already putting down fucking, you know, uh, uh, the uh, smithing bench or whatever. And it's like, like, yeah, it's fine that you want to do that. But like, dude, like you are, I'm going to take a while to catch up here. I just don't play that way. I kind of like, like to explore and get used to a feature first before moving to another one. Yeah, by all means. I'm, I'm very similar. Yeah. <laughs> There we go. Now you need to go out and kill some shit. Test it out. Try it on you some crocodiles I... or something. A little easier to <laughs> test on before you test it out on the uh, live motherfuckers, yeah, right? That's not a bad idea. Oh, I can use this wood somehow. It's a tanning table, right? Soon built that so early of ahead of when we're gonna actually need it. What is it that he built so early? Spill, like, the tanning table. Oh. <laughs> like by all means, I get it, but like, oof. I, I can see where it's like, oh, let's test what this does, but no, it's actually not super useful until we're up hunting some real big game. Yeah. Like right for now, the turtles drop just as much height as we need, brother. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's like, it, it, for example, when I would play Minecraft, it's like, okay, well, I can just just quickly set it in my mind to gather as many resources as I can and just quickly pump out as many buildables of every different type as I can. Or I could just build what I need for now and then explore a little while, you know? And, and, and then yeah. maybe eventually build more stuff when it's necessary. Like, I, I literally have, like... 23 uh, knowledge points right now, and I, I could spend them all and just unlock this, unlock this, unlock this. I, I just, I, I haven't needed to yet, I guess. Yeah. I, with the knowledge points, I'm the exact same way. I don't spend them till I need them. Yeah. You know, I, and, and you know, I, I, I'm not going to say that my way is, quote, the right way to play, but it's right for me. And so when I'm playing with somebody who's, I don't know, who who's more, I guess, uh, maybe not necessarily aggressive, proactive, I don't know what word to use. Like, I, I, I'm not trying to put it down. It's just so different from my type of philosophy when I'm playing a game like this. Like, I remember when you and I were talking Metal Gear, uh, you know, the Phantom Pain. I, I think one of the things you said was, it, it, you know, roaming around in that game is really tiresome for people unless they happen to be the kind of person who just likes just casually roaming around getting into, you know, sneak battles with people just out on the road. And I was like, well, I do like that. That's actually really fun for me. Yeah. But there are other people who are like, no, I don't want to do that. I want to hurry up and get to the store and get to the good stuff. That other stuff is just needless filler. Yeah. Yeah, I like to, I, you know, I like to kind of, you know, let the game sink in a little bit. I, I, I don't know. I, in general, I just don't like to rush things. I guess is all it comes down to. Yeah, by all means. Like, I, I generally agree with most of the time when I'm trying a game. Oh, that's what's damaging me. I didn't know anything was damaging you. What is it? 
Earlier I was jumping off the roof and keeping close to the fence. Uh, holding on to... Okay, so when you're falling in this game, if you happen to have a surface nearby, one of the tricks you can do to avoid fall damage, and the game encourages you to do this. This isn't an exploit. Like, one of the loading screen tips it says, if you're gonna fall, make sure you've got something to catch on to. So what you can do is, when you're falling, make sure to fall in such a way that you go next to it and then hit the key you normally press to jump or to grab, grab onto something. Oh, really? Yeah, and your character will cling on and st kind of oh. slow their fall. Yes, he did. Okay. And for instance, I can use it, like, ordinarily this would be a pretty damaging fall for right here, right? But watch. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, okay. No damage. And you can use that to fall down something really fast. Then you let go and then grab on again after you've made some distance and so on. Oh, cool. Yeah, it takes some practice, but it's a pretty useful skill for getting down that from high is. places. That's, yeah, that's a pretty neat system. How were you taking damage, though? Were you accidentally falling off of something and, and clinging without realizing that that's, you were doing it? No, so what I was doing was I was trying to kind of vault over the side of our house. Of the roof of our house. And you see yeah. it's got like a fence up there, right? So I you don't fall off. That. Yeah. So the fence pieces actually have spikes on the outside. There's like... It's supposed to be built that you put it on top of a castle wall and the spikes were there so that if any enemy players try to climb up the side of your walls, they get hit by the spikes and fall off, right? Oh, okay. It didn't occur to me until just now because the spikes on the side of the sandstone fence, the basic-ass sandstone fence, are not spikes. They're just kind of logs that are jutting out from the side. So it didn't make now, sense, yeah. but I am taking damage from those because those were there to stop people from climbing up the side of our house. Okay. There's a word for those that that type of device, and I can't think of what it is. But you know, to have a to have an extension from your outer wall to stop enemies from climbing it. Yeah, yeah. Medieval term, and I can't I can't think of what it is. There's actually a lot of siege devices in this game. I you know th this game has a really robust uh, 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 crafting system, so I that that doesn't surprise me. There's uh, currently something they're working on. Okay, so I know I've mentioned to you the purge. You the Purge, what? as it exists in the game right now, what we are currently in the middle of is what they are calling the... I see you are currently being attacked. Yeah, oh, they're I, all well, coming. I, I invited it, to be fair. I, I ran right into it to start a battle and, and see how I did. But then I accidentally was fighting with a, with a fucking uh, crafting, crafting uh, hammer. Oh, that would be a problem. Yeah, I need to switch my key on that. It's, I'm defaulting to it every time I go to... Oh, wow, the sword's good. Yeah, uh-huh. It's such I, a huge upgrade. Yeah, god, yeah. Uh, uh, earlier, uh, when you suggested it, I went and killed an alligator, and I killed it in four hits. Normally, it would have taken, like, I don't know, like, ten, twelve? Yeah, like, twelve, yeah. <laughs> but, what was I going to say? So, ordinarily, the Purge... The way the Purge exists in the game right now... Okay. So, they've switched from the old DLC scheme and doing updates and yada yada to... The game is now going to go in what they call Ages. The Age of Sorcery was first, and it came out in three parts, each of which added new sorcery mechanics for you to play around with. Though, trust me, that is a ways off from where we are. Yeah. However, we are currently, they just on my birthday, which is June 22nd, released the first part of the Age of War. And the first okay. part of the Age of War was not too terribly impressive, all things considered. It uh, changed the way that the combat works a little bit. It used to be that moves that you did cost less stamina, attacks cost less stamina, but in exchange, you... Uh, oh, shit, I accidentally made a second dagger. Ah, oh, well, whatever, I'll use it later. It used to be that attacks spent less stamina, but stamina recharged a lot slower. And the first Age of War update, they flipped it. So now attacks that you throw out spend a lot of stamina, but stamina recharges like lightning fucking quick if you stop moving, right? Okay. And the other big change they made that was actually, like, a full-blown addition was treasure hordes. Once we get to, like, I don't know, level 20, we might be able to do it now. No, yeah, level 20, I can make a treasury, which is a little chest and then a man with a pen and paper or a quill and paper keeping track of the money, and it designates a zone as our treasury, our treasure hoard. And if we put particularly valuable stuff there, like gold, silver, some artifacts, 
It adds to a monetary value that that treasury guy keeps. And right now, it is just a high score of how much loot we can get. Right? Okay. But the way they're going to make it is the purge system is going to change soon. Purges will Stop not attack... It. Yeah, I, don't worry, I got uh, yeah, it. Yeah, I, 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 you know, I'm, I, I just, I don't know too much about this armor yet. I don't know. Either, either I'm running headfirst into enemies that have just like super high damage or something. Uh, part of it is definitely the word that these guys have high, have pretty good damage. We're unfortunate in that apparently right now it's kind of notorious that the cannibal tribes are getting bizarrely high level NPC spawns for what they should. I'm just, I don't understand why you guys are able to, like, even you right now, you're able, you're taking all those guys on. Why am I having so much trouble constantly fighting these, these people? Dodging. Are, are, are you guys really dodging a lot? Is that what it is? I got hit, I got hit once there. Oh, shit. Yeah. Well, that's a lot different than what I've been experiencing. But it takes a lot of practice, because you gotta get used to the, uh, pacing. Hey, could you give me that? Oh, that, that thing I just grabbed? Yeah, the uh, failed sorcery page. Oh, yeah, uh, I'll put it back on the corpse. Thank you. Uh-huh. Go ahead and take that. Uh, you yeah, want to hit some of these motherfuckers with onks, or should I collect the blood? Oh, right. Uh, I guess I can do that. Uh, let's, let's, well, you know what? Let me get one. You take the rest, because you did most of the killing there. But, yeah, dodging, like, dodging is really important. That or blocking, if you get the shield, which you do have the shield. Yeah. The shield blocking is a little bit nicer because you don't have to give ground, right? That's true. Uh, you know, it, it, it's 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 difficult. It's just uh, I just like took I your blood. In... You... <laughs> that's fine. Wait, I thought we couldn't harvest. You aren't something. using it. Yeah, well, I wasn't. At least that version of me wasn't. I think rigor mortis sets in once you just start spamming bodies. Like, if you die uh, just the once, I can probably come over and get it, but once the game is detected, like, oh, he's killed himself, like, four times next to his base, put all his bodies in rigor mortis, right? But now, wait, so if we can harvest the bodies of our friends, can we not then harvest the bodies of ourselves? Yes, you can. If you, uh, if you, if, uh, one of us goes over and kills ourselves, including yourself, and you haven't done it recently enough, apparently, to set off rigor mortis, then you can take the Ankh out and go to your body and escort your own soul to heaven. <laughs> Which is really bizarre when you think about it, but um, so so that's a really ki kind of a way to, to cheese the, uh, the the devotion then to the shrines or whatever I guess you want to call it. It can be, but as long as you have a good weapon and armor, it's really more efficient to just hit up a settlement of five or six dudes, kill them all, and then get all of them. Yeah, that that is true. They they respond fast enough. They respond very fast. Part of why, even though human flesh is not a very good food in this game, it's not very filling. And nonetheless, it's a very easily accessed food. Yeah, I am at least glad for that. Speaking of which, let me help myself to some. Oh, this is regular human flesh. This, is, this hasn't been cooked at all. Yeah, <laughs> there should be a bunch of cooked over there in the uh, container. I think I put some in there earlier. I was wondering, like, wow, that the number of human flesh I have went down. Oh, that's not the cooked flesh. That's raw. <laughs> Man, my character is so fucking good looking at this point. Yeah, it's it, very, very, uh, very, very slick. Very, uh, I mean, so, they, they, our characters no longer look like just like generic characters. They look like they belong in this world. Yes. They're they're like the characters have character. I can't tell if my character should be crazed or wizened. They really are kind of skirting in between, aren't they? they yeah, they your like character, I can't tell either. if your character is like a Middle Eastern hero or some kind of, like, goon or slaver. <laughs> well, it helps that the, is... the game has given you bonuses to slaving, so... Uh, I was just gonna say that. That's exactly what I was gonna say, is that I've got bonuses for slaving, yet I'm like, like, I worship the nice god. Yeah! <laughs> I'm like the, you know, the good guy with the, with the holy ankh, but I'm a, I'm a fucking horrible person. <laughs> and I look like a, like an assassin. Your character just looks fucking rad. Yeah, both of them do, really. All three of us did. I, 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 I like all these designs. Really, really cool, uh, really, really cool costume designs. Come to think of it, I should probably get some stuff ready for when Pink comes in, because Pink's gonna want something. Do you know what he's... Uh, well, I guess with all those choices, it would be hard to know what he's even going to want. There's so with many, all these uh, choices, so it's hard costs. to know what he'll want, but I know 
Pink's a big fan of the old Greek heroes. Ah, okay. And I, I do have the Greek kit. For him. If we gather a bunch of hide and leather, I mean, we can just make a bunch of different outfits here, and we can trade and exchange between them. That's, that's actually pretty cool. So, actually, if I were to set myself to the task of skinning a bunch of motherfuckers... Actually, come to think of it, that's a lot of human skin we're looking at right now. Hmm, do I have any... I don't have any wood or stone on me, but I can rectify that. There was a little bit of wood over in the... I didn't think to look... Maybe... What are your 30 in the in the cannibal chest I just raided? I left it behind. There's Let's some see. wood in the chest in the... Well, hmm, did I use that already? Let me look. No wood in the chest. There's still 16 hide in the chest in the main house. There are so many tree branches over here. God damn, I see why well, you're coming here. True. See, I can make a skin and knife and let me get to skin in these guys and yourself. <laughs> you know. Skinning myself, skinning my body. Let's see, I'll take this guy's skin. Let's see, can I... Do you have rigor mortis? No, you don't. I'm taking your skin, bud. Oh my god, it does go away. Pink is going to be wearing you. <laughs> Let's remember that for when we next play. We'll mention that to him. He's going to be wearing my skin. <laughs> oh, there's uh, there's 78 wood in the tannery. Whatever that's worth. Let's see. Let's dump all this hide onto the armorer's bench because I'll probably need it. Just in case he wants the light set. Severed arm. Severed arm was a lot more appealing before we got iron weapons. <laughs> it's actually quite a bit better than the stone stuff, so that would have been an upgrade at the time. Oh, yeah. Then again, you could probably just stuff a handful of shit in your hands and be better than the stone weapons. I mean, it really seemed like it wasn't doing a whole lot of damage. When you're done with that, I want to show you something that I think is kind of neat. Oh, uh, sure. I, I think I've already... Just gonna need to cook some flesh. It's nothing major anyway, it's just a cosmetic thing. Oh, sure, yeah, let me uh, throw this human flesh on the cooker. There we go. Uh, where is ya? Uh, right behind you. Oh, yeah, just, what's up? just as, a t as a testament to the game's, uh, d these cosmetic sets and the mix and match. Like right now, look at look at my, uh, my, uh, uh, gauntlets. These are the ones yeah. that come with the set. And then now, right here is just a random ass, uh, uh, Defari skin gauntlet. Check this out. Look at that. Yeah, they... Like well, that... Totally. That adds more character to it. It really does, doesn't it? That actually looks like it's even more appropriate to the outfit. Your character now looks less like uh, a born and raised, like, uh, Arab hero warrior, and more like a tribal who got brought into the culture, right? But kept you the know, tribal hang... Kept it, the tribal right. cuffs. Yeah, it, it really looks a little bit more kind of... Oh, what would be the word? Not laissez-faire, uh... Yeah, you know, just kind of like a little bit more makeshift, a little bit more, like you said, a little bit more character. Yeah. I, I like it. I think I'm going to stick with it. I don't I don't need the other benefits right now. I, I, I'm i going to go with it. Yeah. Mixing and matching the armor is like one thing I've not looked into a whole lot, but what I have looked into it is pretty great. I, I first noticed it when Soon was doing his armor up. He switched gauntlets from, or uh, leggings, actually. He switched leggings from his old set to the, uh, the, you know, the Snowy Wolf set or whatever, whatever thing is that he went with, and uh, I noticed that both of them looked good. It was like, oh, wow, I thought you were already wearing the, the powered-up armor, but he wasn't. Yeah. Yeah, very cool. I think I'm going to try luring, if I can, luring one, one cannibal over again to try and... I need some practice with fighting. Oh, I wanted to... Uh, well, they haven't respawned yet, but there's probably a few other camps nearby. What were you going to say? You wanted to... I haven't got to test this boy out. Oh, right, right. So now, what the is old, the... Uh, uh, it, you know, it's a really... It's a new twist on the brand name Bug Bomb. <laughs> That's horrible, but it's accurate. But now, what I'm Your character... Is... I don't I don't know what it is, but there's something that looks badass about your character having the sword on his back, but still the shield on the arm, right? Let's see. That actually really does look cool, yeah. He, he looks, I don't know, battle-ready, like a soldier or something. He, he just, I don't know. He, 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 he looks less generic action posy with the sword on his back. Yeah. Yeah, because, like, right now, he, he kind of looks a little bit more, like you said, sort of like a, like a Indiana Jones villain. Yeah. But with, 
with the sword on his back. I don't know. Something is a little bit different about it. Yeah, and I, I love that character with the pike. I mean, like I said, that that is... I, I've played uh, a lot of Dynasty Warriors Empires. That's my favorite variant of the game. And that's the one where you can design a lot of characters and just have loads of custom... You know, take random-ass characters that you whip together into battle. And I have a lot of characters that look like... Again, like, just like a character like you. I do kind of look like non money don't I? Yeah, uh, that was that the that, that was the wild man, right? The, the yeah, wild, yeah, uh, Zhang. Uh, uh, yeah, Zhang. Uh, oh, his, either him or his wife was named Zhang something. Oh, are you talking about? Oh God, uh, I I hate to say this, but some of the names are really they mix together to me because a lot of the Chinese names have very similar syllables. Yeah, and some of them really are just similar. There's like Zhao Yun, Zhao. Zha, Zha, well, Zha. you gotta keep in mind it's about a noble politics, so a lot of them are from the same, you know, tw a dozen important families. Right. Yeah. I mean, you know, like who's Game not of Thrones. Familiar, similarly, we got Lannister, 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 Stark, Stark. Yeah, there's Tyrion Stark. Lannister and Tywin Lannister. You know, I don't know which ones. I mean, I do, but I'm just saying the average person they're probably not gonna know who's who unless they really sit and watch the show. So I mean, you know, someone who's not familiar with Dynasty Warriors, they're gonna say, okay, well, there's Sao P and Sao Sao. Which one's which? Yeah. Hmm. Let's see. There's gotta be another camp that's respawned not too far away. We can probably go back away. to that one that was down, down, uh, down the valley or whatever. Probably, yeah, that one's probably respawned. I would assume so. They do seem to spawn pretty fast. I guess, I, I'm guessing it's a proximity thing. Yeah, it's probably a little bit of that. Yep, they've respawned. Alright. Alright. Stand back and peep the light show. Or go in. Well, st no, I, I was going to stand back and let you... Th you think that's close stuff, though? Go long! Oh, you can control how far you throw it. Okay. Oh, he's going in the wrong direction. Yeah, Fuck he me. Has not yet shown up for me. That's interesting. Oh, he's there pissed him he off is. though. Ow! Get him! Get him! Watch him go! Oh, he's spitting You're venom at him. Spitting at him. Oh, spitting all those motherfuckers. They're all totally devoted to him. Now I can pick him off from the side. Oh, that's another thing I should really mention. It's something that's really important. When this game first came out, it was notorious for the fact that uh, the AI would prioritize the player over other AI enemies, right? Oh, okay. And enough people complained about it that they did a complete 180. The AI in this game is a little bit dumb about prioritizing other AIs over the player. <laughs> That's good, though. I mean, I ran right up to that archer and she was paying no attention to me as I was beating her. Yeah, it's a very good reason to go ahead and get a party member or a follower as soon as you can, because the AI will pretty well always prioritize your party members over oh, you. Oh, okay. Which, That's I went ahead and took the blood off these two. Do you want to go ahead and I... onk this last guy, take him to heaven? Uh, I, I got that one. I figured I'd take one and leave the rest for you, since your spider's the most of the work. Okay, I'll take gas orb. Oh, very nice. What is this uh, fine gentleman happened to be carrying a gas orb, which is similar to my spider orb, but rather than being a horrible demonic spider from the other dimension, it's just simply a chemical compound that is honestly pretty well a mustard gas grenade. Oh, okay. Well, that's always they're, good to have. Yeah, they're pretty nice. Once we get an alchemy bench going, I can probably get a good supply of gas grenades for all of us. Oh, okay. This game's got a lot of systems to get invested in. Yeah, it really does. Like, if you go into sorcery, sorcery is almost like its entire own thing that one player should be focusing on and the other player should just, like, let them rock. Wow. Yeah, it's... Like, you gotta perform rituals and shit, and... Like, it's a whole thing. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it, it, uh, the sorcery system is awesome. You want to have a, at least one sorcerer on the team, because the sorcerer can do some really nice uh, things for the team. We'll, we'll assign that to Pink and make him do it, because, uh... uh I don't know what your character is going to be. Mine appears to be, I guess, something leaning towards assassin-like, and uh, or maybe you know the jailer. Maybe I'll have a crew with me or something like that. And then, because uh, I know uh, uh, soon said that he wanted to be a tank. He's, he specified that a couple times. Well, we're all we'll, going to be we'll investing a little it. bit into some of the things. Nah, I, I want Pink to be totally stuck with with whatever we force on him. Let him do it all. Make make him do whatever role we we decide he needs to, to fit. <laughs> He'll, he'll be fine. He'll figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> mm. 
I am tempted to crack open the alchemy stuff, but I, I need to hold off on it until the others are here. Uh, do you really need to? Because otherwise, uh, well, I mean, all of this is going to be overwhelming for Pink, I think, because we built like two or three things at least since he was around. Um, I don't know about, uh, like, like if you get into the sorcery and, and you start like making yourself good at it or whatever, um, for Pink and Soon, it'll just be... Uh, you know, just a new craft, a new crafting table, right? Like, like it won't really affect their games, will it? Oh, hang on. Oh no, that I can't do that. Damn it! All right. Uh, yeah, alchemy, alchemy's, uh, alchemy's gonna be just making extra stuff. I don't know. Alchemy's kind of. We'll we'll hit that later, right? There's other things for us to mess around with. That's much that's much less intrusive. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to unlock fishing. Fishing? You can fish too. Not quite, sadly. They haven't... There is no fishing pole. Uh, what you... Oh, shit, I need to make carpentry to go to fishing. Because you can make fish traps, but you need to do it properly carpenter. All right, none of, none of them are going to complain if I open up the path of carpentry. No one's going to complain like, Oh, man, I missed out I on carpentry! First. Yeah. Damn it! Okay, yeah. <laughs> carpenter, yeah, let's see. How much do I need to make a carpenter bench? 250 wood, 100 stone, okay. So I'm going to get started on carpentry so we can get started on fishing. Because do you remember all the bugs you've been picking up? Yes, I still have them. We use those sons of bitches as bait. Oh, okay. Makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah, they're kind of garbage up until you get fishing. But once you do get fishing, they're quite nice. Okay. I think this might be a control thing, but I seem to have... Oh, wait. No, never mind. Wait. No? Hmm. I'm trying to craft some, uh, some of that, uh, ambrosia, and it's in my crafting queue. Uh, uh did you hit the pause button on crafting? Um... Uh, I hit the pause button on crafting. I didn't know there was a pause button on crafting. You can pause any crafting station, as strange as it may sound. I was totally unaware of that. Um, you at one point paused the uh, fire while I was cooking something, and you laughed oh, at the fact that you that, could pause the fire. Uh, okay. Yeah. I, that might have been what I did before. I might have done that. Yeah, you're right. I did. I would have appreciated an icon or something letting me know that that's what happened. Yeah. There is one at the, at the very top of the uh, inventory for the crafting station. Okay. I'll have to look for that next time. I did not see anything. It must be a pretty small, pretty small it, thing. It's fairly small, yeah. Let's see. Oh, I see now. I see exactly. Yeah, it's an actual, like, play button triangle that changes to a square stop button. Okay, I know where to look at least now. Yeah. That, is, that is so... I'm, I'm telling you, I, I'm really enjoying this game, but the interface in particular, that's kind of my sticking point. I'm really not that thrilled about the way things are kind of... Like, it's laid out smoothly more or less, but, like, it's not totally intuitive what button does what and when. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that I agree. I mean, I, I shouldn't not know that I paused the crafting menu. Yeah. Didn't even know that was a damn thing. It makes sense now why I was able to, to flick the fire on and off. It would appear we require coal! I shall acquire coal. How does one get coal in this game? Do we mine it? Yes, it is a okay. big black rock. Well, that seems seems logical. I don't remember ever seeing a big black rock though. It's rarer than iron for the most part. There are a couple oh. regions of the there are a couple regions of the world where it's a bit more common, but it's generally it's a rare one, but you don't need a whole lot of it. Because, like, really, just, like, one one iron, one coal rock will give you a hundred when you mine it. At least with the gear we've got now. It'll get more profitable with time. And each coal takes, like, four times the amount of time to burn as wood does. Ah, okay. Or, well, no, actually, it's... What was it? No, it's probably somewhere in the space of five or six times the amount of time to burn. So, I went ahead and found some coal, got it up. All right. I tried to get a living essence from the alligator I just killed, but alas. You can't, you can't take the alligator to heaven? 
<laughs> I, I thought it was worth a try. <laughs> <laughs> Say. Sadly, no. Uh, the only religion that gets to harvest their bit from animals is Zath gets to harvest religious bits from s spiders, as you can imagine. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But other than that, no. Sadly, you can't. You can't escort a, a crocodile to heaven. Nor can the Yog worshippers collect human meat from crocodiles. Oh, okay. Uh, the alligator would have probably appreciated it. <laughs> he probably would have. Yeah. He, he would have liked it. That's not fair. <laughs> all dogs go to heaven, but all crocodiles go to hell. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> okay, now how again do I fill the the water skin? Like, I guess what is the mechanic? I, do I do I point it at the water and like press a button or something? Uh, go into the water and then just go in and uh, drink from the water skin a ton. And if you drink while you're in water, it's gonna refill the water skin. Oh, okay. I, I that's I wouldn't have expected it to work that way, but all right, fair enough. Yeah, it's strange, but it's the way the the way the system works. Yeah, that one's kind of weird. I mean, I'm fine with it. It's easy enough, and once you know what you're doing, but that that's it, it's just that's a weird system. Fairies. Yes, there we go. Get those sons of bitches. There's some. Uh, every region of the map has some plants that are native to it, and one of the more. Oh. Uh, disappointing things in the game is being like, yeah, aloe and de desert berries are great, and yellow lotus is everywhere. And you get to the north, and none of those three are anywhere to be found. Yeah. So, it's smart to take some seeds up with you when you go north and start a farming operation up there. It does. You know, again, that's sort of like a Minecraft sort of thing. There are certain, you know, elements that you might want a certain type of tree or whatever, uh, you know, that, that doesn't grow in the desert, for example, so you're gonna want to be able to plant them, bring some dirt, plant it in the desert. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I remember the Animal Crossing games were kind of like that as well. Well, sort of. They were, you know, that was more from one world to the next as opposed to uh, regional. But the same yeah. thing. It's like, oh, your world doesn't have cherry trees. I'll bring some cherry seeds or whatever, uh, some cherries from my world and plant them. Oh, by the way, have you completed any journeys? I've been wondering about that. I've been very, very passively completing them here and there because I didn't think they mattered. I thought they were just like, given the name Journey, I guess I just made the proper, you know, possibly incorrect assumption that they were just like, oh, here's something fun you could do in the meantime. So every journey once completed comes with a reward. Some of them are just immediate oh. material rewards. Yeah, you can, it, once you go into inventory and shoulder on over to Journey, you can see which ones you've got in progress, which ones are locked until you get to where you can do them, which ones are completed. Oh, okay. And do you have any that are completed? That is to say, they're gold. Uh, gold. Let's see. Um, no, apparently not. Got some that are, like, unlocked, but none that are complete. So, when you complete them, they give rewards that you can see, and you can go back and get them once you've completed the journey. Some of them are, like, just like, I don't know, here's a box of plant fiber and wood. Which is, you know, convenient, but, like, not game-changing. But some of them unlock building and crafting recipes. Oh, okay. Like, for instance, uh, the warrior journey. You complete that, that unlocks the ability to build uh, the select few unarmed, or excuse me, the select few hand-to-hand -hand weapons. You know, what's weird, though, is, as you just said, Warrior is unlocked, it's open for me, um, but, like, the very first thing is dodge. I have dodged. Uh, I yeah, but get, you have it I while have you're... Get. The journey has to be active when you do this oh, thing. Oh, okay, I thought it was passively, whatever you do in action, it starts to fill it, I see. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I was confused by that at first, too. It makes sense once you know it. Yeah. Um, actually, hang on. The annoying second, thing I... is Journey's asking you to do something you already did a while ago, like, make a stone club! And it's like, do I yeah. really need to go and get the stone and wood to go do that? Well, you know, one of the reasons I've been stuck on... Hang on. Set it off. Actually, give me... I want to continue the Journey discussion, but uh, really quick, my cat is uh, asking me to let her out, so hang on one second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, what the 
Should I get to work on a fishery? I guess I should. I'm not super close to the water, so it'd be kind of inconvenient to go and get it, but still could be worth it. Get to work on some bricks. Let's see, I'll complete this warrior journey real quick. It's not it's one that just unlocks a building recipe, so it doesn't matter. Whoops. Apparently I was supposed to use a heavy attack, not a light attack. Unfortunately for that antelope. There we go. Okay, let's see. Do I have a skinning knife? I do! Excellent. Let's go ahead and skin this son of a bitch. Alright. Okay. There yeah, my, my cat wanted to leave the room. Sorry about that. <sighs> oh, no, it's fine. Um, but yeah, I, I, I meant to ask about this a while ago, and I just kind of put it aside again. I sort of was like, eh, it'll happen when it happens, I guess. But, um... Uh, I have for the longest time been being told uh, to place a bedroll. And so, <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure I did that a long time ago, though. So, I mean, should I maybe just destroy this bed and put down another one? Uh, if you... Oh, this is Soon's prison. Okay, I got confused and thought Soon's prison was our house. <laughs> I went inside and I didn't see any bedrolls on the floor. And I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, that, that same thing happened to me before. So, if you... Uh, yeah, if you uh, hold the button for more options, like it says, and then dismantle, it gives you back yeah. everything you used to build it. Okay, that's exactly what I just did. Yeah, I, I, I somehow, I, I guess I must have placed the bed before that, that journey thing triggered to that point. And when I saw that, I was like, oh, well, whatever it's telling me to do, that must be glitched, but... Son of a bitch. I just made the club and then dumpstered it. Like, one of the next que uh, steps is... Go smack him. Go smack somebody with a club. <laughs> Can you smack me? Uh, no, I have to apply the Sunder debuff. Oh. Which is what the club does naturally. It's what reduces their armor. I see. And I guess dismantling does not give you the items back. The ingredients does it. Uh, it should give you some of the items back. Some at of least. them, okay. Dismantling most building pieces will give you back all of it, but... Dismantling the little bedroll, it's probably so crap that it only gives you back some of it. I don't know for certain. Hmm. Like, if we were to dismantle the carpentry bench, though, we should get 50 wood and 200 wood... Uh, 200 wood and 50 stone from it. I see. Bitch, where's the club? There it is. Okay, let me go apply sunder to an enemy. You have fun with that. Hmm. There are no enemies! Still? It doesn't actually have to be an enemy. You can go apply Sunder to an, a to an antelope. It doesn't matter. Ah, uh, okay. As long as Poor they'll antelope. take damage. Oh, uh, okay. I missed. Haha, -ha, antelope! You've been Sundered! Your armor will save you no longer. <laughs> it's, it's, it's thick, armorous fur. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and I need to make a shield. This is the second time I've had to make a dumpster shield, but nonetheless. A dumpster shield. Now I'm just going to dumpster it when I'm done with it. I'm just doing it to get uh, this journey done. Right. You see what I mean about how dark it gets at night in this game? Oh, let me go back outside and look. Yeah, yeah, more than the average game, I would say. Not not super dark, but but definitely darker than a lot of games. Where is the moon? It's a full moon out, so it's actually at its brightest. It'll be at night. That would also, yeah, that that would explain why it's not quite as dark as I, I might expect. So it's gonna keep getting darker every night until we hit new moon. Oh god damn it, craft a stone pike? Are you having me craft every goddamn stone thing now that I've finally moved past the stone tier? Probably. I think it is, yeah, let's see. Let's move all this shit into the inventory. And I'm going to assume it wants me to apply cripple to somebody, because that's what stone pike does. Oh, that's a spear. Those are different. Fly cripple to an enemy. How did I guess? 
Very good guess. I gotta go. I gotta go cripple somebody. Excuse me. <laughs> Doesn't have to be anybody in specific. God just wants me to cripple somebody. <laughs> the gods of journalism. Or, yeah. Sorry, journalism. Where the hell did that come from? Journey. <laughs> Journey. Journeyism. No, I like journalism better. The god of journalism <laughs> has requested that you kill someone, which is probably the strangest thing I've said today. <laughs> this will make your... The god of journalism is just like the fucking ghost of J. Jonah Jameson up there. <laughs> Damn it, Parker, I want a story. Go out fucking kill somebody. I can almost see that, that being said by that particular character, yes. <laughs> Damn it, Parker, get a, get a photo of Spider-Man committing homicide. Hey, he He's would actually say that movie. one. Yeah, <laughs> I know he's out there killing somebody. You get out there and you get a picture. Damn it, Parker, I've had enough of you having Spider Man protecting babies. I want them to kill a motherfucker. <laughs> I want you to get a photo of pa Peter Parker pants down behind an innocent man. I want a photo of Spider Man with his cock in his hands. <laughs> Jeez, are you okay, man? Meaning JJ, of course, by you. I'm yeah. Like you're, you're, you're kind of you. What? That, Is this some secret thing you got going on? Damn it. That's definitely like where Robbie comes in and like Jay J Jonah's been off his pills lately. <laughs> Get out of here, motherfucker! God damn it, Jonah! I remember when I saved you and Nam. <laughs> Don't you fuck me on this. We're gonna get Spider-Man this time. Don't you fuck me. <laughs> this is. Of extreme importance, obviously. <laughs> Jonah, you've been holding me back. Just like the pills. <laughs> Wait, why does he sound like Jonah now? I... I, I lost track of names. Shut up. <laughs> Robber, you've been holding me back. <laughs> Jonah, I've been taking your pills lately. You're I've turning me into you. I've been losing weight, and I love the mustache, but I'm not appreciating the crazy. Uh, it's sad that I had to uninstall uh, Spider-Man to be able to, to fit this on my hard drive, but I'll, I'll be putting it back on. I, th I think it saved all my save data. If not, it, it would still be a fun enough game to start over from scratch. Yeah, how, what have you been thinking about that? You been uh, proceeding through the story? Um, I did not get any further than the last time I told you, uh, uh because, uh, after I was playing that game a lot, then the, uh, anniversary for Dead by Daylight came up, so then I poured a bunch of time back into that. And so, uh, that just ended about, so, week, two weeks ago, and I haven't really played much since then, uh, other than Raph with you. I've been, I guess, kind of bouncing from game to game to game, uh, based on, uh, circumstances, but, uh, um, I, I liked every single aspect of that game. There was, I... I honestly can't really think of anything that I thought was bad. I mean, it was it was just solid. Everything about it. Presentation, gameplay, graphics, the story, the acting, every single element of that game was on point. Yeah, I, I definitely I definitely agree. That is a very good game. It was, yeah, it was absolutely a, a, a great game. Yeah, I, I'm looking forward to playing it again. I, I actually, I, I uh, uh, turned on my projector for the first time in a while. I have my projector set up in such a way to where it's not always convenient to have it going, and I thought, man, that'll be a cool game to play on my projector. I just haven't been able to do it yet. Yeah. Oof. It'll be a good one. Swinging through, swinging through, uh, you know, the city streets on a, on a giant, uh, you know, whatever, like, idiot. Oh, 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 what, what the happened? fuck? Uh-oh. What, what Why? Happened? Why? What, what? What happened? The fucking cannibals from next door just started attacking. Oh, oh are you nearby? I, I was trying to fight them. Yeah, I, I am. Hang on. Oh, oh. Shit. I didn't know you were Spider. near. I you were off. Spider, there you go. Get in here. Oh, what shit. She... She hit you on the back swing. She did a little spin and hit you. Yeah. See how easy it is for me to die? They're not even trying to kill me. I I will. Yeah, the spider is nice for distracting them, but that is apparently an issue if they hit you on the fucking back swing. I didn't even know the game had that mechanic. 
Yeah, I'm just trying to get some 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 fighting experience here, and apparently I can't get it against human beings. Yeah. Uh, all right. Apparently my battery is low. Stuff on her. Your Ooh. battery's low, did you say? Battery on the earbud is low, apparently. Uh. So I'm go going to ha go ahead and call the recording here, but I'm still good to play for a good while longer with you. All right. So let me go ahead and call the recording here. Conan, Conan Exiles! This will probably be a big hour-long recording of me and uh, Mike mostly milling around and seeing how cool things are. But nonetheless, I'm throwing this up. See you, the see you next time, boys! <laughs>